Next, we're going to take a look at some basic looping with expressions in After Effects. And uh, there's three types of loops that we have. Uh, cycle, ping pong, and continue. So let's take a look. First, we need an animation. So I have this circle on this in this comp, and I'm just going to move it towards the left-hand side of my stage here. And then I'll hit the P key on the keyboard. And I'll click on the stopwatch for position and I'll animate it maybe to about here. And that gives me Y, X, so I need to move this here. We'll make this a keyframe. We'll go back to the first frame and then we'll move this back. I was just using my arrow keys here to do that. <clears throat> Okay, so we have an animation. It slides on to the, to the right. And I'll easy, ease these frames, option, uh, function F9, and that will give me a smoother animation. But what if I wanted this to continue? What if I wanted it to keep doing this? Uh, and there's a couple different ways to do that. So going back to the first frame, and you need to be on the first frame for this. I'm still on the position property. Now After Effects is going to retain the original animation, the keyframe animation that I created, but then I'm going to add an expression on top of that that's going to do the looping. So I'm holding down the option key, I'm going to click on the stopwatch here, and the looping is loop out, and we'll see it right there. So loop out is the what we want, and there's a type equals and then we have three types, and in uh, quotations we need to type in the type. So the first type is cycle, and that's all we need to type there. And if I were to click away from there, I get no expression errors, which is good. And then I go ahead and play this, and what's going to happen is that it's going to play through the keyframes, and it's just going to keep cycling. So it just knows to keep playing the animation. So it's going back to that first frame, and it's playing it through. And every time it goes to the frame on two seconds, it's gonna just play through. Um, the next effect is going to be ping pong effect. So you literally type in ping pong, it's all one word. And what that does, it plays it back and forth. So if I play this through, it's gonna go across and then it's gonna go back. So it gives us a nice kind of back and forth animation. And then the third type, back in the first frame here, the third type um, is continue. And continue, remember that this, this object is supposed to stop at frame two, but you'll see, if I play through the animation here, uh, continue just kind of like, it's it's done. And that's that's all it does. So it's the least useful of uh, the three types. So ping pong is probably the most useful. And then you have cycle to keep going back. Now, if you ever wanted to end any of these, <clears throat> so let's say I wanted to set this back to ping pong. Right? So this is going to go back and forth, and we know that. But if you ever wanted to end that, what you could do is create a new keyframe. So let's say at um, seven seconds. I create a new keyframe and then I put it where I need it to go. All right, so we'll see what happens here. So I'm going to help play through the animation. It's going back. So that basically killed the loop. So, um, so just be aware of that if you add additional keyframes after you do this expression, it's going to kill what you wanted to do there. So I'm just going to undo that. And those are the loop out functions um, or expressions that are available in After Effects.